I'm not even sorry for that. We will take it. We will take it. I don't think so. <laughs> All the thumbs up. I now know beyond a shadow of a doubt. I never want to be a and and the wind is down. And the wind is blowing. Now that it's time for them to leave, it's finally it's just a little wild and crazy around here. We're done. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at him. Oh my goodness. Okay. We uh we went and got x-rays. Well, he went and got x-rays. We went, he went. Anywho, so that's done. What do you say, lady? Lady, lady, lady. Hello. The gang's all here. <laughs> hey, baby. The sun is out today, and it makes me so happy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm not even sorry for that. Yay, the sun is out. The sun is out. It's still cold, but the sun is out. Here's hoping this begins the process of drying this mess up. Okay, we're in the kitchen, y'all. Do you hear? Do you see? Um, Austin has requested her favorite, hamburger steak. So hamburger steak, gravy, mashed potatoes, and green beans, it is. I had a pound of hamburger ready to go. Wasn't sure what I was gonna do, so she won tonight. Um, today has been about appointments. We did the doctor this morning for Lawrence. I went and got my teeth cleaned. That's good. Uh, Wesley was supposed to go to the guitar, but it got canceled at the last minute. But he has another lesson tonight, and I'm super excited to share this with y'all. A couple of weeks ago, Claire, who runs and owns an online music lesson company called Lesson Face reached out to me and said that one of you, who I don't know who, reached out to her to see about getting some banjo lessons for Lawrence. Super cool, right? Um, I had never heard of this company. I don't know why I never even thought about looking online for lessons. Such a great idea. So, and um, we cannot get, I have not been able to find a banjo teacher or a drum teacher in our neck of the woods. So, Lawrence decided to pass the lessons that they're giving us a few lessons on the house. He decided to pass those on to Wesley. He said he would rather Wesley take the lessons and then teach him. <laughs> so, um, that's what we're doing. Wesley's to doing a group, uh, a group banjo lesson tonight. Tomorrow night he has a private lesson, a single lesson. And then the next night, Austin has a drum lesson. She's not really sure what to think about it, but I think um, I think it's going to be great. I can't wait to show you more and tell you more about that, but that's coming up here after supper. The young woman that he's taken lessons from tonight, her name is Willow Osborne, and she is very well acclimated to playing the banjo. I looked up her bio and... She's from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and she's played at Dollywood. She's played all these places, and she has lots and lots of experience. So I'm excited to just be a little um, fly on the wall and watch and see how this goes. So anyway, wanted to share that. And uh, yeah, the kids are out feeding the calves. I didn't video it, but Austin and I spent some time today. I should have videoed it. Whatever, I was too engrossed. We spent a lot of time stripping and cleaning Hank's stall. We went to the feed store. We got lime to throw down there to soak up some of the wet spots. We got more shavings. We got a wheel, we got a, yeah, a wheel for the wheelbarrow, a tire, a wheel for the wheelbarrow. You would call that a wheel, wouldn't you? Anyway, got home and it doesn't fit exactly right because that's our life. So once we get that fixed, it's gonna make cleaning cleaning stalls a lot easier. We are literally putting shavings and manure in five gallon buckets. <laughs> I don't even 
have a mud bucket. This is terrible. Anyway, we're getting there. We're getting there. believe how quick you're picking this stuff up can you believe it babe where did this kid come from <laughs> what <laughs> oh goodness all right that was cool tomorrow night we get a private list <laughs> so proud of you buddy <laughs> that's amazing Lawrence watch too. You're gonna be able to play like that tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. You got some teaching to do, buddy. Some more teaching. Back at it. Another cold, muddy morning, but it is supposed to get up to almost 60 today. We will take it. We will take it. Okay, we're on load number two, and I have been told that I'm gonna have to drive it out of here which I haven't done, but it's in four wheel drive. <laughs> so put it in night and just go for it. So that's the plan. <laughs> uh, he's got to bring that tractor up to the barn. Our friend Jimmy, who you've met in previous videos, who's helped us tremendously year round, is coming to help do some work on the hydraulic lines, I believe, putting on some kit of some sort on all the tractors I think so uh, we, we need to get it up there don't want to have to come down here to work on it <laughs> Bingo. Good job. Does that sun feel so good, lady? Yes, it does. It's warming right up. Right up. Woo! Where are you going, buddy? Woo! Where are you going, Clara? Okay, school is done. Lunch is done. What else is done? I don't know. I'm going to put Hank out and then uh, check on the guys. I think they had to go to town and get parts. Imagine that. And then I have got lots of work to do in the office this afternoon. And of course, it's the most beautiful day. But I'm making myself do some things that I've been putting off. So, that's what we're doing. You really, I really don't need your help. Hello, Hank. <laughs> yes, you always talk back. Um... Yeah, this is fun. Hank is not a very good stall keeper. We just cleaned this out yesterday completely. Put new shavings in. Austin told me it was very messy. Oh, very messy. Bad girl, you're gonna get kicked. What is it? What is it about those horses that you wanna go mess with them? Okay, that is much better. I'm gonna let Austin <laughs> take care of getting this out of here. Oh, what are you doing, Bonnie? I heard you out there barking. Huh? Were you messing with Hank? I'm gonna get hurt. Well, well, well. No farmers to be found. They must be off heart hunting still. Okay. Well, I tried. I tried to check on them and see if they needed anything. I'm going to work myself now. 
I'm very, very sure as soon as I get settled in <laughs> that I'll get a phone call because that's the way the, uh, the hay rolls around here. I just came up with that one. That was a good one, right? We have new things here, new things, all sorts of new things. Wesley has gotten back into his slingshot mode and he ordered himself new some new bands that are extra, they're wider. For half inch. For half ammo. inch ammo. I call them BBs, but whatever. They're they're big. Yeah. All right, I'll have to see you do some tricky business there. Not tricky business, what's the word? Uh, I don't know. Target practice. Okay. Alston spent her birthday money, some of her birthday money, adding to her, her farm collection, her horse, her horse collection. She has got a big collection now. And this is really cool. She got this little, um, like wash shower, pit. wash stall, wash pit. wash pit, wash pit for horses. Very neat. Very neat. Okay. Playtime. It's beautiful outside too. You going to practice? All right. <laughs> Very good. He made a little backdrop so he can catch his ammo. <laughs> Where are we, Bonnie? Where are we? We're in the crib, y'all. We're in the crib. Oh, y'all. Uh, so, Lawrence and Jimmy got one tractor done. They had to run all over two different towns to get some valves or something and they'll finish tomorrow and um i am in my crib i have some pretty major deadlines coming up big well a writing deadline right now to work on and then um i have a talk to prepare it's two months away but i i really want to do a good job <laughs> and it's going to require a lot of prep work for me so that is what I'm going to try to start working on pretty hardcore every spare minute I can get. So right now we write and then we plan, prepare, and keep writing. Okay, I got done what I need to get done and Wesley is about to go round two with his online banjo lesson tonight he's got his private lesson with willow i'm hoping i can just get her to take just a minute and introduce herself and tell you a little bit uh more about how lesson face works because we are uh he really enjoyed it last night and i think this is going to be good for both the kids so it's great i can tell that you practiced <laughs> it's not very nice Great job, great work. I mean, you totally, uh, I mean, mastered all of those concepts that we talked about last night. A really good job. Um, <laughs> really nice. Yeah. I, you know, I can tell that you've put a lot of practice, uh, you know, in the month and a half that you've been playing into, you know, into the banjo because, um, you know, that sounds already really good. Your note articulation is really good. Um, so. Hello, everybody. My name is Willow Osborne, and uh, I play the banjo, this banjo, in fact. I've been playing the banjo since I was four years old, and now I am 21 years old. <laughs> um, I am teaching lessons on Lesson Face, and I would love to, uh, to be able to teach you some, some banjo. Yeah, awesome. Well, we're definitely going to be seeing you more, for sure. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's right. yes. Perfect. Well, you know, really, it's it's really, this lesson's been really fun for me, too, because, um, you know, you picked it picked it up so fast, <laughs> and it's really awesome to see, you know, people that are enthusiastic about learning and, um, you know, want to learn. So, right. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. We're excited. We'll we'll get awesome. the next one thank scheduled, you. and we'll see you soon. <laughs> okay, banjo is done this week. Tomorrow night is drum lessons. Um, I am super super impressed with this whole deal, y'all. With this whole site and the way this works, we are going to be doing this weekly, I believe, for sure. He's super excited about the banjo now. A little more excited than even about the guitar. That's fine. Whatever he wants to play is fine with me. They've also been kind enough to give me 
a discount code. Well, it's a link. There's a link here. I'll put it on the screen and you can find it in my description or you can email me, whatever. Um, and if you use that link and sign up for a lesson, you'll get a $22 credit off of a lesson. So if anybody's interested in that, I say check them out. This is, this is awesome. All the thumbs up. We're off. That tractor got fixed yesterday. Jimmy will be back this morning to work on the rest. I don't know how many. So I'm just pulling my little red wagon. Let's see how I did. I might have pulled up too far. Wait, that thumbs up. Is that good? Yeah, I guess, maybe, must be, okay. That's it. Oh, wow, we had an easy day. Just one, one bale of hay and one load of silage. The others were good. So, that's exciting. <laughs> doesn't take much <laughs> uh, anyway today is today is puppy shot day gonna take the pups and the collies need border collies need shots too I think so we're doing that it's uh, it's time y'all they are six weeks they're a little over six weeks now we have homes for them we have more than enough homes there was not enough puppies to go around I'm pretty excited about the folks that are going to be getting them. Good friends. We have some good friends that are getting them. Uh, there's still, there's there's one that's in question as to who, who it's going to go to, but we'll get that all figured out. And uh, the plan was really not to keep one. Really. We do not need another dog. You know that. Um, but a certain little girl has pretty much threatened to run away or hide or both with this one puppy that she really wants. So, I guess Rocket, Rocket, she named him, whatever, Rocket is staying. But at this point, one puppy, one puppy's gonna be a breeze compared to four. <laughs> I'm just, um, I'm looking forward to being able to sleep through the night again because I get up at least twice a night with him and all the poop to not have to clean up. Just one, just one puppy. And she, she says she's gonna take complete care of it. So we'll see about that. But anyway, I'm gonna miss them. Of course, we're gonna miss them. Puppies are amazing. They're so sweet, so cute, and so cuddly. But they're also so much work. I now know, even though I've never aspired to be a dog breeder, I now know beyond a shadow of a doubt, I never want to be a dog breeder. So, there's that. Okay. Ch Chubbs is getting a bath and Chubbs gets stinky on him. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Chubbs, Chubbs, Chubbs. <laughs> the lunch crew is in action. And I am uh, failing today at this farm wife life. I did not realize that I was out of pretty much everything. And and the wind is down. And the wind is blowing. So the only things I have to offer are beanie weenies, nabs, and some sausage left over from breakfast. <laughs> he said that was fine, just bring it, so. And some sweet tea, I do have that. Oh gosh. All right, and there's Jimmy <laughs> underneath. Okay. Okay, they 
but that was it for today. Waiting on more parts to come in to John Deere place. Having to keep order, ordering things. Uh, so, Jimmy, our friend Jimmy, is going to be getting one of the puppies. He's gonna get the big boy, Chubby Rascal. <laughs> I've been calling him Chubby Rascal. He seems like he's kind of the most laid back He'll go off in the corner by himself and lay down when he's tired. And um, I'm really excited that Jimmy's getting him. Lawrence was determined for Jimmy to get one of the puppies. He lost his dog right at Christmas. <laughs> Meet your new, your new daddy there. Yes, you're gonna be in good hands there, Chubbs, or whatever you call him. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first warm day we've had now that it's time for them to leave it's finally warm enough to get outside and play with the puppies yeah what is it babies oh warm sunshine you're so warm doesn't that feel so good daisy yes it does <laughs> Okay, I am making supper early tonight because Austin has her drum lesson on Lesson Face tonight. And it's at like 6 o'clock, so I want to make sure that we eat and have everything ready to go for that. I'd rather eat early than eat late. So, I'm making a mess. That's what I'm doing. Yep, biscuits, biscuits, biscuits. We're going to have sausage and gravy and biscuits. <laughs> look crazy they already look crazy oh boy so the last few times I made biscuits I've been using this stuff southern biscuit L complete biscuit mix that several of you viewers told me about and I honestly love it they're pretty much foolproof Fa full foolproof fail <laughs> they're foolproof and fail proof fail proof I think is the word I was looking for um, but I forgot to buy more and this is not enough to make a batch. So there's something sticky on there. Imagine that. Uh, it's probably jelly. Anyway, um, so I had to go back to my tried and true three biscuit recipe, which I updated a little bit on the blog, but these are not always foolproof or fail proof <laughs> for me. Sometimes I knock them out of the park and sometimes I send them into the gutter. So, uh, I didn't have any regular lard. I had some sticks of the butter Crisco and I think I'm pretty sure I used too much. <laughs> pretty sure I did. Um, we'll see, whatever. Hopefully, hopefully they'll at least be edible and can go under the sausage gravy. And then it's really not going to matter if they fall apart or not, because we're just going to mix it all up and eat it. <laughs> I'm using the sausage gravy recipe from Stargazer Cast Iron Skillet's website. I made it with their, I think I showed it on here. I made their biscuit, sausage gravy biscuit casserole around Christmas time. And it was so good. And the way that they, they had in the recipe to make the sausage gravy was perfect. I did just realize <laughs> that, I, that that recipe calls for half and half, and I'm pretty sure that's one thing that makes it extra amazing. I don't have any half and half. <laughs> I'm out of everything. I've got to go to the store. That didn't happen today either, so that's not good. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I'm just going to make it with milk or maybe mix a little buttermilk and milk. We'll see. Hold the phone. I am holding the phone. I had a brand new thing a half and half that I didn't know. Whew! Winning. I am actually winning. Happy day. So you just brown the sausage and then you put three tablespoons of flour and a tablespoon of butter and then you pour in the half and half. It calls for two and a half cups. I am just going to eyeball it and I'm probably going to add a little more than I did last time because we ran out. Stir that. It says whisk, but it's kind of hard to whisk. It's kind of hard to whisk when you got all that gravy in there. Well, they might not eat good, but they 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 turned out pretty. It looks like a sunflower. How about that? Okay, sweet. 
Sausage gravy is yummy. Those little specks, those are, that's thyme. It's got a little salt, pepper, thyme, garlic powder in it. I could, uh, I could eat the whole pan, but I'm, I'm trying not to. We're eating shifts tonight. Lawrence gets to eat with a, uh, side of drums. Woo! Start by just playing on the snare drum, some single strokes. You want to have the top of your hand face up towards the ceiling and then use your wrist and your finger. <laughs> we have uh, evidently like a puppy playground in the kitchen tonight. She's wearing boxing gloves to keep him from biting her. <laughs> She's not boxing the puppies. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Let's see if we can wrap this up. So, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to wrap this up. It's just a little wild and crazy around here right now. <laughs> He's attacking her, he had a hold of her jeans. Okay, uh, drum lesson is down and done, and um, she's she's not giving up. You're not giving up, right, sis? <laughs> I, don't, I think she has it in her head that you know, like after one lesson, she's supposed to be out there playing. Like, no, I don't. Okay. Anyway, we're not gonna give up. We're not gonna give up. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give it a little more time. I need to announce the winner of the t-shirt contest. Natasha Mays from Virginia, literally across the line over there. Um, no, I mean somewhere in Virginia. <laughs> I'm just saying, I live on the, anyway. Um, she submitted the winning, the winning, the most voted for design, quote, home is where the herd is. That, where you at, Wes? Come here. Can't see you. I don't want that, to that's, well, you're the one that came over here. You and the puppy. Um, home is where the herd is. Home is where our herd is, right? All all kinds of herds, even puppy herds. Anyway, I cannot be around a puppy and not snuggle it and kiss it. I just can't do it. Um, so look for that design. We'll have to get it designed into a t-shirt design, but that will be coming out this spring. I'm sure we'll also incorporate some of the other suggestions that y'all had in some way or another. Uh, there were some good ones. What are you doing creeping over my shoulder? I can't tonight. Okay. We're done. We're done here. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.